So, uh, Mr. Gibbons, yeah. uh, I thought we could have a little chat Good. between us as like director to casting director. Because mm-hmm. actually, we do chat, but we don't yeah. have a lot to like, sit down and no, reflect. No, we're always things, talking about work, you know. aren't we, generally? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, hopefully, or this or is children. Uh, hopefully this is going to be about work. Or children. going to switch yeah. off pretty quickly. Because yeah. um, they've kicked, clicked on the clickbaity headline, now they want some... They want some information. Want some information. You want some advice. Yes. Good. Um, so... Um, so I've, I've got a few things to talk about, mm-hmm. um, but obviously you jump in with the stuff you want to talk about as yeah, well. Yeah. We'll just yeah. keep it casual and, and hopefully it'll be of interest. Um, so uh, so this is going to be mainly about um, commercials. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of videos out there talking about performances and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and actually yeah. for me, when an actor walks into a room for a commercial, it could be a big commercial, a small commercial, and all they have to do is sit on a sofa or smile or pick up a drink. Yeah. That is fucking hard. Yeah. Versus, I'll already swear, it's going to be swearing. I was, about to, I was about to say, can I swear? <laughs> well, no, now you can. I've said it. <laughs> no. um, uh, that's really hard. Yeah. I, I actually think having three pages of dialogue in a feature film script is easier for an actor. Absolutely. We, yeah. I, I, the same, I mean, we've just done two castings last week where exactly the same thing happened. It was the, the, the roles were quite extreme. And you know, you'd think in in reading them that they were going to be more tricky because you're asking for like you know big characters and big characteristics because they're, they're mm-hmm. commercials where you know daft things happen often, mm-hmm. and so the characteristics were quite big. But actually, it's much easier to do that. Mm-hmm. It's much easier to go in and sort of find a character and jump on it, if you mm-hmm. like, for a want of a better phrase, and then do it in a casting. You come across much better. Mm-hmm. It's much much harder to go in there and do something small and subtle. And then be able to, you know, tell that story in a in a realistic, mm. truthful way. That's mm. much more difficult. Yeah. Do you think there's and obviously some actors out there that are just amazing and do it all. Yeah. But do you actually think there are two types of actors? You know, there are actors that are great at commercials and there are actors that are great at drama. Because there are some actors where you, you you've seen it where an actor comes in and they're very commercial, like they've got that look. Yeah. They can nail like a reaction within like three seconds because yeah. there's a real art to commercial acting. And I think people, you know, think, oh, all you're doing is biting on a piece of toast, you know. But when you bit on that piece of toast 50 times to get the right spread of butter yeah. on that commercial, that is a skill to keep that off and keep that natural. When you haven't got a lot to go on apart from I'm pretty girl biting on some toast. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So do you think there's like a a skill, a muscle that some people are better at than... I want to say... I want to say yes and no, right? Mm. I want to say my, my my gut instinct and my sort of... My hope, if you like, is that I want to say no. Mm-hmm. And that if you're a good actor, you're a good actor, you're a good actor. And as long as, you know, good acting is, is to me, it's just being able to um, just almost get into a role mm. and just walk into a anywhere mm. and be able to, to to be that person to to, to play that role mm. um, and that's so in that respect a good actor should be able to just doesn't matter which side whether you're you know that's a daft thing to say but whether you're a, a mascot a, with a big foam head on mm-hmm. or whether you're doing uh, you know a piece of Shakespeare or whether you're doing something you know intense um, I, I, in my brain goes you know that should be the same mm. and and, I, and you're right, there are actors that, that can do it all, but equally, yeah, let's be honest, there are some people that can just, mm. they might not might not even care that much about having that range and stuff like yeah. that. They're just doing what they do because this is an industry, you get paid for it, and it's you come in, you do your mm. job. I always say, one th- the, the thing I always come, when I do workshops and things like that, and I talk to actors, my, my point A, of this process is it's a job interview. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. all it is. All yeah. a casting is is a job interview. Yeah. We're a bit different to other industries in as fact we have lots of cast they have lots of job interviews and you might get a job but you don't have it very long mm-hmm. and then you have to go for another one. You can't just have a one job and then it stick forever mm-hmm. unless you know you get a job in EastEnders or long long running dramas or whatever. But it's a job interview. So you've got to just come in, do your best and then and just do what they're asking you to do and then go home. Mm. And that's, you know, some people are just very good at that mm. aspect of it. And you do get people that are really good at commercials, yeah, let's be honest. Yeah, you do. Right? And, just, and the thing is, it's I like, don't know what it is, but they're just really good at commercials. Just come in, they look mm. nice. Because people, 
there's another thing. Basically, you'll know this as a director because you'll have been in hundreds, hundreds of meetings, agencies, producers. Commercials, they, the kind of majority of the time, they want you to look nice. Yeah. So they want you to be clean. Mm -hmm. They want you to look polite. They want you to be smiley and, and warm because that's what the product is. Mm -hmm. You're aligning your product to a person. So the person needs to look like they represent that product. They're not mm -hmm. going to want, you know, necessarily all types of people. They kind of do want, mm -hmm. you know, and there's really exceptions all the time, but mm -hmm. they kind of want a bracketed mm -hmm. element, don't they? You want a slightly modelly look that can act. <laughs> But not too modly that you're a model. Every single that, brief I get. And that's what it is. I mean, and, and, you know, I think there's a lot of bullshit out there about, you know, come in, be your best, all that kind of stuff. But look, you know, there are certain types of looks that clients want yep. to sell, ad, you know, sell yep. product. Absolutely. And it's a business for that perspective. And I think there are certain ads that want reality and they want quirky. Yep. And, you know, there's some, some amazing ads out there that have you know, very Wes, Wes Anderson-y kind of styles and they're very interesting, very like amazing looking people. And like I've done stuff, we've done stuff together where we've gone for like period looks. So they're kind of Game of Thrones-y looks. So you want someone's rough, ready, rugged, you know, like yeah. the face has got a story to tell. But the majority of the business is handsome, pretty, yeah. you know, this person who's going to look nice holding that thing. Exactly. When it comes down to it, all we can talk, all you can talk about in commercials is the... The commercials is kind of where really good directors like you. Um, Stop it! Man. Where, You're but, supposed to get hired. But it's where they they make their again. It's kind of where they make their in a weird way where you make your money yeah. to make sure that you can do the other projects. Mm -hmm. And I've done some commercials with, in fact, I've done loads of commercials with amazing, amazing directors who've done feature films, who've done you know huge worldwide campaigns, mm -hmm. TV shows, and stuff like that, and. And these are like, they're still people come back and do commercials. So of course you get a range of commercials. You get everything from, you know, fantastic epic commercials to the, to the, to, to, to terrible, PPI. really, yeah, to the, to the, to the really <laughs> obvious ones, you know, yeah. the basics, but they're, they're all, and so you do get different types and different, mm -hmm. you know, you might need, you know, a Game of Thrones person for one, you might need. Uh, like a type of supermodel type mm -hmm. looking person for another. You mm -hmm. might need someone who's playing a gremlin or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But you, the, as you say, if we're talking generally, it's a very normal, nice mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. The classic girl next door mm -hmm. or, you know, your friend. The guy you talk, take home to your mum. Your friendly dad. Yeah. Your smiling dad. I think this dad. is important for you as an actor. It's very hard. I can't self-reflect on my me, my own work, I, you know, but... I think the thing that really frustrates me sometimes about actors that come to a room is actors that haven't done their research. I mean, and, and that's not a just reading the script and or knowing. And okay, of course, sometimes there isn't even a script and you have to read it in the room. That's something I, especially when there is a script to do and it's not improvisation, which I kind of do a lot of. I, I try and make sure if there's dialogue, people have got it. Now, agents, send your clients those King scripts, I'm sorry. Some, it really frustrates me when you send it and they've not seen it. And it could be the actor being lazy, could be bad communication. It's, yeah. you know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, the, um, I've lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh. Um, Preparation. No, yeah, sorry? Preparation. Preparation. And there are some people, and, and so <laughs> there's, if you go for like a mainstream commercial, usually they've made them before. <laughs> so go and watch the things they've done before. Because actually, pretty much it's going to be the same sort of thing and you I know think... obviously different creative different script but you know brands spend a crap load of money developing the brand developing the look developing the feel of that brand and they're not about to change it every five seconds no. so if you watch previous adverts you kind of get a sense of the tone well i bring you back to the i bring you back to what is the first point i make it's an interview mm -hmm. if you're going for a, you were always told this at school if you're going for an interview for I don't know, Barclays Bank, and you're going to be a whatever. They always say, do a bit of research about Barclays. What are they, who are they like? Yeah. Where are they from? Because you might get asked this question in a, in a job interview, whatever. Um, if, if you get a job, if you get a commercial, you're probably going to get paid, what, approximately? I mean, they're all different, and that's one of the problems, is that they're all so different, really. But let's say you're going to get three grand mm -hmm. for doing a commercial, right? Mm -hmm. Four grand, five grand mm -hmm. upwards, whatever. Uh, and is even it, more, and depending even on more. the exactly. sky. Is yeah. it not worthwhile? For that much money, for for one day's work, what it might be, is it not worthwhile to, to
to do a bit of research yeah, yeah. and just spend a little I bit would. of time finding out about the director, yeah. finding out about the casting director yeah. to a point. Yeah. I mean, less, less so, but finding yeah. out what they're like. Yeah. For, as you say, finding out what the client, mm-hmm. the product done, looking at their old commercials, mm-hmm. because you're right, they'll be in a similar style. And then it's obviously doing the research on the, on the character mm-hmm. that you've got. I always, I, it, we talk about this all the time in, in, with actors. You, you, actors, trained actors, are taught so many different ways about getting into character, learning and character, doing character circles, doing hot seating. Now, I'm not suggesting for a second you get your mum to sit you down the night before yeah. for, a, for, you know, for a commercial or whatever and sit down and do a bit of hot seating. Mm-hmm. But you can do that in your brain. Yeah, yeah. Do a bit of like, who is this character? Who, yeah. who do I think they are at least? And that's all you can do. Who do I think they're going for? What type of thing? What type of thing would they wear? Yes. Within reason, don't yeah. go too far with yeah. that. But what type of thing would they wear? What would they? What would their sort of feeling be? Except that time we were doing a medieval thing and someone came in with a full suit of armor, which like ninety nine point <laughs> nine percent of the time is not a good idea. But he came in, and you know who you are because there is casting, <laughs> and he was amazing, and he got the role. I mean, but that's because he was an amazing actor, and that was the icing on the cake. If you're wearing a full suit but, of armor, don't come well in dressed as a coke can. No. <laughs> Or no. something, you know. It, 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 it's horses for courses. Isn't it? People and say, oh, because people say, like, oh, you need to be remembered. I'm like, yeah, but yeah, but there's a level. There's a level. I always say, what this business is about choices. You make your choices in every little step. You make your choices what you're going to wear. You make your choices how you're going to get there. You make choices what time you're going to get there. So Beyond if you don't, time. Yeah, you don't want to get there sweaty yeah. and complain. About, you make the choices about whether you pay for enough time on your car because then you get yeah. people that come in and str- are really stressed about their car yeah. being late or whatever. So you make your choices. You make a choice about what you're going to wear for a casting. Yeah. Just be careful. Don't maybe go 100%. Go 50 to 60. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. that's generally right. Because the other thing I was going to say is after you've made all this, this preparation and you've done all this work and you've made your choices and whatever, all that business, and you've done all your prep, the most important thing to do is be able to walk into a room and then forget it if mm-hmm. you have to. Yeah. Because the director or the casting director will give you all the information you could possibly need to make that character the yes. best ever. We want you to be brilliant. Oh yeah. So definitely. we 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 yeah. we are we're on your side. Yeah, and I think and, and good directors, good yeah, casting exactly. directors. Exactly. I mean, you know, not to blow our trumpets off, but we care about the process. Because oh. for me, it's like I'm looking for my best mates. Because whoever I cast in this room is going to make my job a hell of a lot easier. Absolutely. And that's why when I came into a room. I'm not actually looking for the camera ready performance. All I'm doing is I want to see it one way and then almost the opposite way or a spectrum. And if I can tell you can listen to direction and take it and and react instantly, then I'm like, great, tick. Then, of course, it's are you the right look? Do you work for the brand? Of course. I'm casting you with this guy or this girl. Do you work as a couple? It's all subjective. But, like, you know, I I think I, I... respect this process so much that's why i run the room which is why i like you know? working. yeah you're, you're, um, you're good at that and because is you that do, unusual? you want to is it like a 50 50 it's 50 50 it kind of depends and yeah. i think it sometimes depends on the the job as well but you certainly you're the you're probably one of the only directors i will work with who is a hundred percent you want to do mm. all of the stuff in the room mm. um and the others that like will you know and it, I, I like that process because I, I think I'm quite good with actors. So, you know, who let me do a bit and then they'll pipe in a little yeah. bit and whatever, or they'll, they'll yeah. play around with it. But I'm not going to be on set. Yeah. You, you're the one. The it's director is the one that needs to be with the, with the people yeah. on the set. And it's, it's, it's it, chemistry. It's people talk about screen chemistry, but there's also the chemistry between you, me, the director, and the actor. Yeah. And like, if I look at you and I think we're either not going to get on, and that's no fault of no. anyone, it's just we're people, you know, or. Uh, you know, I can see the lights on when nobody's home, or and you don't see that if you're on your laptop or on your phone, and then you right. only look up to watch the take and then look back down. The amount of times you, Which, look, you look at an actor, yeah. and you give him a piece of direction, and, and they, you're like, they're, they're not yeah. getting that, and you yeah. try and give it again, yes, and then you try and hit it from this way, and then they're just looking at you and you're thinking. Which is why I was saying it's not actually, this, you? you know, a lot of you know, I'll be I'll be hung by directors' unions for saying this, but like a lot of commercials is result directing. Like, it's like, I want you to smile at this point. And I'm sorry, but when, when you're on, on set with clients and stuff, as much as a director, I like to give you, as an actor, what you need as a character to do these things. Almost every shoot, it gets down to the client, or the agency will go, can she just smile more? <laughs> 
and that's it. And like, you can go in and go, okay, I want you to be happy about this product, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? There are certain times when they just need a moment yeah. and you want, you know what? Pick up that cup of coffee, smile and drink it, right? And that's really hard to do convincingly. Mm. And I'm looking for that in the room because I know it'll happen. Yeah. You know, as much as we like to talk about characters and I know you're this and you're from this background and I do all of that because I want to give actors the ammo they need to do their jobs. But I also, you know, I'm testing, I'm testing that thing in the room of like, can they nail a moment, you know, in, of that I needed an edit well, or on set? Because it's that's not coming from me. That's going to come from the people behind the monitor who don't understand the process. No. That's, that's what this you is. know, and that's why I, if I was talking to an actor, uh, in fact, uh, my 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 lass is an actor, and I talked to her after castings. And, and it's still, and she's quite experienced now, and she has done a lot of work, but she still comes out of a casting sometimes thinking, oh, I could have done that better, mm. or I should have done this in a way. And I know that's a perfectly natural thing, but what I would, if I could give any advice to make people's lives better, kind of just forget it. Yeah. Walk out the door, do your best when you come in, mm. walk out the door and forget it because they're literally out of your control. Mm. It's not out of your control, but you know what I mean? It kind no, of is. it is. There's so many Pretty different much. parameters yeah. that could be judged by. Yeah. We could, you could do, I always use this as an example, you could come into the casting, you could be the best person, everyone in the room could love you. Yeah. We're all going, yes, definitely. And let's say it's a couple part, and we're going, boom, got her, fine. And then we just can't find a man, mm. literally can't find a man. And then we find a man who is the best man we've got, for example, mm -hmm. and then he doesn't match the woman for some reason. Mm -hmm. There's loads of different reasons why. Age, anything like that, because mm -hmm. clients like these things. And then you go, oh, well, that doesn't, they don't match. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, have we got, we haven't got any other men options. I wonder if we've got another woman option. The second woman option would be actually pretty good. Oh, she'll go with him, yeah. boom. So that first person doesn't it was know. Amazing. They've done the best casting yeah. ever. Yeah. Everyone loves them, yeah. but they're not gonna get the job. Yeah. And that is just, unfortunately, how this business goes. And I think that's brilliant advice, is to let it go. I think, I think uh, I say to, I've got a lot of friends of actors say, you know what, come into the room, don't be desperate, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and enjoy the room. Enjoy it. You know, because I try to have fun. Yeah. We have a laugh doing yeah. casting, yeah. even if it's for something that can be a bit boring, or you know, or after that very specific reaction, we try and have a laugh yeah. in a very comfortable room. Again, to pe to make people relax, so you get the best performance exactly. out of them. And then walk out of there going, well, that was fun. Yeah. And if it happens, great. If I get the you job, know? brilliant. But but like, don't torch yourself. The amount of actors that torch them, like, oh, what have I done this? I should have done that. And then they see the ad and they're like, oh, well, I, I think I did it. I but get emails from like, people apologising for how they've done in the yeah, casting, like, and I'm like, not oh, about that. Don't, don't I would apologize. say on a list of. 15 or more reasons you know, why that an actor didn't get a role, the very bottom of the list is like them themselves, what yeah. they did in the room. Yeah. Because, you know, and, and like, Honestly, I, I wish I could put a cat these cameras in some of my rooms, like talking to clients about yeah. casting, no, I know. which they'll never let me do. They just, <laughs> they just wouldn't understand. Actors would be like, you'd be like, what? That, why? What? Huh? Like, and, and it's weird stuff. And also, it's all subjective. subjective. Like, you know, I might really get on with someone or think, oh, this person's great. This guy's got a brilliant performance. And then someone else can come in and is like, oh, I just don't like his hair. I often, and like, I often leave castings going, who have they gone with? Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. I, they and, not who I would have gone yeah, for. Yeah. There's loads of people I would have gone and, for. And that's why it's so much not in their control. But what is important, and I guess just because just, that's quite a depressing thought, isn't it? That you've got literally this yeah, it no is, control. but that's why like, the but, result needs to be have fun in the room and then see what happens. But what is another thing? I know that you've done this before. In fact, I'm, we've, we've had conversations. But if you come into a room and you're really good and you don't get the part, it's not like that's it. No. You start again at zero. <laughs> it's, I mean, those people are. I see people over and over again in castings because they're good. Mm. And, and that's and that's what I like about working with you, Martin, because, and this is like casting directors listening to, is that your ammo, you know, is the actors you bring to the room. Like if, you, if we had a bunch of castings and you always brought crap actors in and maybe it's bad luck or inexperience, you'd be like, oh, we need yeah, another well, casting director, you know? So, absolutely. So like the fact that you come in and like sometimes you can look at a list and you go, okay, I think you're like this person, this person, this <laughs> yeah. person. You know everyone on that list, Yeah. you know? Well, and there might be some wild cards, there might be some new people. I always and try and exciting. throw in some new people and but, try and throw in, also try and throw in different options for yeah. you because you might have given me a brief that says, I want this, 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 and this, which might come from you, might come from your client. But what I'll do is I'll go, 
I'll look at the treatment as well and I'll look at everything and go, okay, yeah, and I'll give you, you know, let's say we're bringing in 10 people, I'll go, right, those nine people match that perfectly. This person, I reckon, would be something they're after. Mm. And you just throw them in mm. as a flyer and you'd be surprised how many times people go, do you know, I hadn't thought about that. Mm. I had a conversation just yesterday with a client who had this character who they've gone um, male in his 30s. And I'd already seen the brief in advance. And, and, this, and I said, oh, I thought it could be male or female because I think this person would be brilliant. Mm. And they were like, I'm not, yeah, of course it could be a female. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah it could be. Yeah. So we're bringing in some females yeah. for that part yeah. as well. You know, let's be honest, I wouldn't be surprised at all because they've obviously had a chat about this yeah. if they go for the male. But yeah. I think but it's important at least you've gone, like, for you've us to go, you know, yeah. let's, let's keep ourselves open. Yeah. Some of the briefs, it's good to have a tight brief, but then it's equally good to be able to yeah. have some flexibility. And that's where the trust and having done worked with that's why you get a lot of repeat work with clients and that's why I get a lot of repeat work with clients and I work with the sim similar directors and stuff like that it's because people now trust me to to a bring in the right people hopefully b work with them well in the room but also that I'm going to make those choices correctly and mm. as you say hopefully bring in good people that I know you like mm. that's my aim because mm. that's how I get paid that's mm. literally my job are people waiting or anything out there no. no, okay, cool. Um, I might just stop and start again. Right. Is that 23 minutes? Bloody hell. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Boris, I'm, like, uh, I'm yes, it is. Your, yes, um, it is. Is that, is that a problem to say? No, 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 that's fine. If you cut, then we'll. we'll we can, I can cut, yeah. Yeah, if you cut, and I'll do another one just to.